And they all have very, very strong ones, documented things that they stick to daily. It's their own playbook, if you will. There are three qualities that every high performance agency has, especially after doing a lot of interviews and uh, running our own team and everybody that we've talked to. There are three qualities that hands down every high performance agency has. So let's just dive into it. So the first one is a strong vision. Every agency owner that I've talked to that does run a high performance agency has a very strong vision for what they want. And they're really good at communicating that to their team. It's very clear. Nobody on the team doesn't know the goal of the agency. So this is super important for every uh, agency owner to have because it really creates an environment where they're all kind of rowing in the same direction. I know that's cliche, but yeah. So that's number one is a strong vision. Number two is strong processes. Across the board, all of them have very strong processes for what they do. And they follow those processes and they track and measure and then they tweak the process. And they're trying to get better and better and better. So they all have very, very good processes, which helps them not have to manage people as much. They just manage their processes and they all have very, very strong ones, documented things that they stick to daily. It's their own playbook, if you will. <laughs> And number three is strong leadership for them and for uh, whoever's on their leadership team. And I wanted to kind of break down leadership because leadership is not management. There's a huge difference. Management just means that you're kind of telling people what to do, right? You're managing, you're managing the processes, if you will. And if you don't have any, then you're managing the people. But what leadership is, is leadership is social influence towards your vision. So that's why it's so imperative uh, that you have a vision is so that you can communicate that and you and your leadership team can influence, influence your team towards that vision or that goal. So that's huge because you can't force people to do stuff. You know, I mean, I guess you can, but if you really, want, <laughs> really want to run a high performance team, you have to get everybody kind of excited about what they're doing, especially when it comes to sales, because like people on the phone can smell that a mile away, right? S sales teams are just constantly hearing no's. There's a lot of disappointment, so you got to keep that energy up. Uh, so if they have a strong vision and your leadership team is really influencing them towards that vision, towards the goal, and the only way they can do this is by being a great example and pulling those qualities out of your team, which is usually the opposite of the classic management stick, you know, you don't do this and you're in trouble kind of method. It's more of encouraging. So going more towards the positive than the negative. So I would say that those are the three, I mean, hands down, every agency owner that I've talked to that runs a really successful operation has those three qualities hands down. Like I haven't seen anybody that hasn't. So it's something to think about. If you don't have a mission or a vision, if you don't have those like qualities written down of the attributes that your successful team will have, I really encourage you to write that down. Write down your vision and really get good at being able to communicate that to your team. I worked at this one, <laughs> this one restaurant in Newport Beach and they started from scratch. And when we came in there, I mean, it was in the middle of kind of nowhere. It was like tucked in the corner. You wouldn't even really know about it. There was nobody coming in. They had really great food, really cool concept. Yeah, as they started bringing people in, the owner was always out there and he kept telling this story about the reason why he started. It was a bar. It was a bar restaurant. The reason why he started it, because he went to all these other restaurants and he got kind of poo-pooed by, that's what he said, poo-pooed by all these different restaurants because it was so hoity-toity, but he still wanted to get that kind of vibe and those kind of food and drinks and all this stuff. And so he created uh, this place. And then he had a really cool story too about his business partner and man, he must have told that story a hundred times. He had a very clear vision of where he wanted to go. And I watched that business go from being in debt 
like going negative for six months and then it started kind of taking off. Now it's big chain and he's uber successful, but it was all because of that really strong vision. That was one of the times that it made me it like really dawned on me how important that was. At the time, I thought the story was, it was kind of cool. <laughs> I was actually bartending there and serving and we used that story a lot for our guests and they loved it and they got bought into the movement. He became kind of the leader of that movement and everybody loved to be a part of it because it was a really cool story to be a part of. So I hope that encourages you. Uh, I'm sure you have a really, really cool story behind your agency. And if you don't really think about it, because I mean, I'm sure there's things about your family and everything else, how you got where you got that would be super encouraging to your team. So that's it. That is the three qualities of a high performance insurance agency. Thank you so much. I will talk to you soon.